Hi guys, Hi guys. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to our, our channel, channel. Kicking, Kicking It with Cheryl and Joe. Joe. Today we're going to be making puff pastry filled with broccoli, cheese, and ham. Yeah baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who doesn't like delicious broccoli, cheese, and ham put into a delicious puff pastry sheet, you guys? Yeah baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So come kick it with us and let's get started. This is such a wonderful recipe. Anything with puff pastry, it's so quick and easy and delicious, and your guests will love it. Even you and your family will love it. It's just a special treat for any kind of holiday, game day, Super Bowl, birthday party, barbecue, you name it. The first thing we're gonna do is start shredding our cheese. Okay guys, the cheese is shredded, now I'm going to start rolling the puff pastry. Okay guys, now first I'm going to put some cheese. There's so many different ways to make puff pastry. Um, you can also take ham and Swiss. You can even throw some sauerkraut in there. It's so delicious. Even just plain old ham and cheese. Now, if you guys know Joe, he likes it very cheesy. He that likes. Is right. <laughs> I like sinking his teeth into a nice meaty, beefed up, delicious puff pastry. Now, guys, the reason we buy a block cheese and shred it ourselves is because. The pre-shredded cheese has some kind of chemicals all over it that they spray on it. We've also heard that they put sawdust or some kind of plastic as well. Yeah, and it's also just more prone to mold, so it's always just best to just shred it yourself. You know it's fresh, it tastes a little better, it's more creamier. Yeah. So that's just what we've been doing. Yes, we have. Okay. And you, of course, you don't need a fancy uh, KitchenAid shredder. No, you could just use a hand shredder. Yeah, it works fine. Yeah. Okay, and then next I'm gonna move on to the broccoli. Now the broccoli is a little less than a pound that I bought fresh, washed it up, steamed it up, and chopped it up. How's that, babe? Is that enough ham for you? Yes, that looks excellent. Okay, now I'm gonna put some broccoli, okay? Oh yeah, you gotta get that cheese on top. We want this encased in cheese, you guys. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, babe, I don't know. Ooh, this is packed. Let's see, I think it will work. Let's see. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. Okay. You're making me work hard here, babe. Sorry. Mm. You got it. You're a pro, babe. You got this. Yeah. Okay. Let's make it happen. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna go get you a knife and the uh, parchment paper for the pan. All right. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh 
Oh yeah, look at those guys. Those are perfect. Wow. See, babe, I knew you could do it. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. I'm just not talking right now because I don't want to cut my finger off. We don't want to make any trips to the emergency room. <laughs> All right, guys, here they are before they go in the oven. Yeah. I'm going to be right back with the finished product. Okay, guys, they're all done. Now I'm going to get them plated up, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, here's the finished product. Yeah. All right, babe, ready to taste it? Yeah. Okay, Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this food except for us. Please bless it, sanctify it, make it holy, and help it to nourish our bodies, Lord. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. Do it again, girl. <laughs> you guys really got to get this recipe a try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're having a party. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and to share this video. Bye! Bye.